in this video we will be solving this question which says Henry Hanover is currently consuming 20 cheeseburger and 20 cherry cokes a week a typical indifference curve for Henry is depicted below where on the x axis you have cheeseburger and on the y axis you have cherry coke and this black solid line shows your indifference curve for the combination of 20 cheeseburger and 20 cherry coke and this combination is denoted by this black solid dot now with this information we are asked if someone offered to trade Henry one extra cheeseburger for every coke he gave up would Henry want to do this so that would be one cheeseburger where CB represents cheeseburger and I will be following this notation throughout the question for every coke he gives up so that would be one cherry coke where cc represents your cherry coke now if i multiply this trade through five then the trade would remain same so if henry would be a rational consumer then it won't matter to him if he's getting one cheeseburger for one cherry coke or five cheeseburger for five cherry cokes as eventually the trade remains the same so multiplying that it would give me five cheeseburger for five cherry cokes now note that initially he is at the consumption bundle 20 comma 20 so if he is offered five extra cheeseburgers then the new combination would get be 25 cheeseburger that would be 20 plus 5 for the coke he gave up and now he is giving up five cokes so the new number of cokes would be 20 minus 5 which is 15 giving you the new combination as 25 comma 15 so if i plot this it would lie somewhere here as 25 would be lying between 20 and 30 and 15 would be lying between 10 and 20 giving me the combination bundle here assuming that his preference direction is this so this combination bundle lies below the indifference curve which means it is giving him lower level of satisfaction and if the new bundle is giving him lower level of satisfaction then henry will not make this trade the same thing applies if someone offered him one cheeseburger and one cherry coke as essentially the trade remains the same even if we multiply it by five since his preferences are not changing thus if someone offered to trade henry one extra cheeseburger for every coke he gave up henry will not do this trade as this trade is reducing his level of satisfaction so the answer to this question is no now let's come to the second part which says what if it were the other way round for every cheeseburger henry gave up he would get an extra coke would he accept this offer now that means for every cheeseburger he is getting one extra coke so again multiplying the trade by five that would be five cheeseburger for five cherry cokes and his initial consumption bundle was 20 comma 20 where he was consuming 20 cheeseburger and 20 cherry cokes now he is giving up cheeseburger for the cherry coke thus his new consumption bundle would be 20 minus 5 that would be 15 cheeseburger and 25 cokes which would lie somewhere here now note that this consumption bundle is lying above the indifference curve which means it is giving henry the higher level of satisfaction so if he is getting the higher level of satisfaction then henry would be ready to make this trade hence the answer to this question is yes henry would trade if for every cheeseburger henry gave up he would get an extra coke now let's move on to the next part which says at what rate of exchange would henry be willing to stay put at his current consumption level now note that what do you mean by rate of exchange basically the mrs or the marginal rate of substitution measures the rate at which consumer is just willing to substitute one good for the other also mrs measures the slope of the indifference curve so that means your MRS is nothing but the slope of the indifference curve which can be written as change in good 2 with respect to change in good 1 where x2 represents your good 2 and x1 represents the good 1 which is this. But in our case we have the good 2 as cherry coke so that gives us the equation as MRS is equal to slope 
is equal to change in good to which is change in cherry coke that we are representing by cc with respect to change in good one that is would be cheeseburger that would be cb now in order to calculate this slope we need two points we have given the first point in the question as 20 comma 20 so let's consider the second point as this point that would be 30 comma 15 so now your mrs is nothing but change in cc with respect to change in cb now change in c c is 15 minus 20 and change in cb is 30 minus 20 that would be 10 this is nothing but your minus 5 with respect to 10 or minus half that means now we have change in cc with respect to change in cheeseburger is nothing but your minus half or twice the change in cherry coke is equal to minus the change in cheeseburger now how do you interpret it so if your change in cherry coke is one then your change in cheeseburger has to be two that means if your change in cherry coke is one then your change in cheeseburger would be 2. That means the rate of exchange now becomes 2 cheeseburger for 1 coke.